Hello, this tutorial will show you how to use Rhino script to execute MadCam commands with settings. So every MadCam command uh, is executed on the Rhino command line with settings. So we can save each command and add it to a script or to a button. So if we make some toolpaths on this model, we can uh, start to select a cutter. We can use a 12 millimeter cutter for the roughing. When I click OK, we can see it will send a command to MadCam. So we can copy this command paste it in to a text file and then we can uh, create roughing toolpath and we can copy the madcam command add it to the text file so we can see first it sends the cutter, then it executes the roughing with settings. So now we can select another cutter for the finishing. It's a ball and 6mm cutter. can make a Z-level finishing. And we can copy the Z-level Z finishing command. and <clears throat> add it to the text file. Then we make a planar finishing. Now we have a couple of commands. Oh, I forgot to save the command for the 6mm cutter, but that's just to reselect 6mm cutter. And add it after the roughing toolpath. see here, there we have it. So now we select first cutter for the roughing, execute the roughing, select cutter for the finishing and execute the finishing two paths. But <coughs> this will uh, calculate the tool path but it will not add them to Rhino. So there is a special command in MadCam that if you type MC from the Rhino command line you will see all the MadCam commands and there is one command that uh, is called MC get toolpath so so if we copy that command, then we can add the MC get toolpath after each toolpath command. So we add it after the roughing. After the Z level finishing. <coughs> planar finishing and pencil tracing. So now we have complete set of commands that will do the whole operation selecting cutters and do the roughing and finishing. So now we can copy this code 
and we can go to tools toolbar layout and I have created my own toolbar and we can add the commands to to the toolbar button just paste it in here click OK so now if I uh, have a fresh model delete all the toolpaths then I can click on my button and it will uh, generate all of the toolpaths in one go and there we have all of the toolpaths there are several other things you can add to this uh, script for example we can uh, use region curves so if we uh, for example we would like to machine inside the region curve then we can uh, can name this region curve so we can use uh, select name and then we can see that we have the name region 1 here so now we can uh, add this to the commands script so for example we can start selecting the region and then we type select name and region 1 and then we have to <coughs> add this curve to MADCAM then we can check the command for regions so we add MC region curves and we can uh, add select none and if we execute the commands we can see that all of the toolpaths will be executed inside the region curve and uh, it's also possible to use regions for profiling so for example we can uh, curve tools we can duplicate the bottom curve here we can check the direction if we want to <coughs> go mill mill climb cut inside the curve you can change the direction of the curve and we can name it you can call it profiling curve or just profiling check that is there no it didn't work yes there it is region and profiling okay so now we can add uh, at the end we can add uh, select name select name profiling and then we use the curve for MADCAM MC region curves and then we 
should make a profiling so then we can do that profiling select the curve climb And there we have the profiling, so we copy the settings. We add this to the button. And we call for the toolpath. And we can delete toolpaths and test if it generates all of them. We can see we have the roughing, Z level, planar, pencil tracing and profiling. So this uh, automates, will automate the process and uh, we can use this on any model. So if I uh, just change the shape of this model, I can, uh, for example, scale this like that reselect it execute the two paths That's how it works when scripting and automate the process for MadCam commands to make command sessions. Thank you very much.